Hello there and welcome back to the Network Essentials series. In today's episode we'll explore the Modbus protocol and how it is used in IoT. Modbus is an industrial communication protocol with two primary variations, Modbus TCP IP and Modbus RTU. Modbus TCP IP facilitates communication over IP networks, while Modbus RTU enables industrial devices to exchange data using physical serial RTU interfaces, such as RS-485 or RS-232. The variation you choose depends on what interface or communication your end device supports. The Modbus protocol is most commonly used in automation systems and is particularly popular in applications where end devices like sensors transmit data readings or control commands to specific targets. Modbus works on a client-server model which is very similar to Q&A interview sessions. However, the way initial communication is established differs between the TCP and RTU variations. In Modbus TCP, the client initiates communication and waits for an acknowledgement from the Modbus server. If the server does not respond, the end device gets a timeout. With Modbus RTU, the client also initiates communication but relies solely on the set timeout value to determine whether the Modbus server is ready to perform actions or other requests. So essentially, the Modbus client initiates the communication by establishing a connection and then requesting particular information or actions from the server. On the other hand, the Modbus server acts as both a listener and as a responder by waiting for the client to connect and issue commands, so that the server can perform the requested tasks. To better envision how the Modbus TCP protocol works, let's look at an example. Imagine a router serving as a Modbus TCP client and four sensors functioning as Modbus TCP servers connected via LAN Ethernet cable. Both the router and sensors utilize IP addresses to recognize each other within the same network. The router establishes connections with the sensors and requests data based on predefined configuration. So the router may request light sensors to transmit data hourly, while the pressure sensor will be requested to send its data every two hours and so forth. The scenario shows data transmission within your local area network. However, similar communication and data transmission can be done over the internet using public IPs or secure VPN connections. Modbus RTU operates in a very similar manner, but the primary difference lies in how all connected devices identify each other. Let's say we have the same set of connected devices. However, instead of using TCP IP, we use the RS-485 interface, which allows multiple device connections. Since devices share a single serial bus in this network, instead of having unique IP addresses, they rely on unique server IDs to enable communication. Here, each sensor has a distinct server ID that differentiates them from one another, ensuring the router doesn't confuse them. For the communication part, the essence remains the same. The client, our router, requests different sensors to transmit set data, which can also be configured to be sent at specific time intervals. And that's it. This is the basic principle of how the Modbus protocol works. We hope this information was useful to you, and if you want to learn more about the intricacies of networking, make sure to subscribe to our channel and check out other videos we've made before. 